Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number 16 as part of the GoMath 2015 Teacher Workshop Series. Number 16 comes from the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. This is an exam in California for elementary school teachers that are preparing for their teacher certification exams. It's a nice problem to do because it reviews some of that core math, number sense and operation skills involving adding positive and negative numbers together. So let's look at it and let's uh, work through some of the math. Number 16. The expression negative 105 plus negative 14 plus 34 simplifies to which of the following? And then they give us options. Notice how in these options some of the values are going to be negative, some of them are positive. So there's, there's a fork in the road here. Now if you know when adding these up that you're going to get a negative value, you could, you could automatically cancel off um, to these answers. And that would really increase your chances of getting a problem like this correct. And any time on these exams when you can eliminate two, two of the choices from the ones that are presented to you, you really increase your chances of getting the, uh, of getting the problem right. And that's something that you're going you're gonna to want to develop that skill. And definitely see those forks as you read through these problems. Now we have an expression here. And when we simplify it, we're going to get an, some sort of answer. Hopefully the right answer. But let's say when we simplify it, we'll get an answer, some value. Whatever that is, let's just call this uh, an unknown for now. But once we get an answer and we say that this expression is equal to this value here, or this expression is equal to this expression, we've just turned this expression into an equation. So the only difference between an expression and an equation is an equation has an equal sign with a second um, expression that is equal to... Um, equal to it, all right? So sometimes they say, what equation, da, 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 or sometimes they say, what expression gets you to the answer. All those things are, they're very closely related, okay? All right, now we got to do the math behind this, adding those positive and negative numbers together. This, by the way, is some of the math that most teachers make careless mistakes on. This is where it happens. When I have a negative 105 plus a negative 14. If I, I wanted to think about it conceptually, I could draw a number line, positives on the right, negatives on the left, and I could think about this problem and I could represent it, model it on a number line. For example, the negative 105, that's like me starting at zero and moving back on the number line all the way back up, negative 105 spaces. And adding an, an additional negative 14 would be like adding going back an additional 14 spaces, which would get us to negative 119. And then adding a positive, positive 34, well, I'm starting, I'm at negative 119. That would be moving me forward. Now I wouldn't, I wouldn't get to the positives, but I would get to, I would, I would get to another value that is uh, at, literally moving forward in the opposite direction. Uh, something less than uh, something in between 0 and negative 105. All right. Okay, so that's just thinking about adding positive and negative numbers and using a number line to sort of walk through those calculations. In terms of the problem itself, we could just use some basic strategies. When you're adding two negative numbers together, just set it up as an additional, as a, as a regular uh, addition problem. Add these values together. And whatever value you get, just make sure it's a negative outcome, all right? Because when you add a, a negative one, 105 plus an additional negative 114, it's the same as adding up 105 plus 14 and getting uh, 119. Just make sure you, your final value is negative, negative 119. And, and we have that negative 119, and then we're adding positive 34. This is another way, this is another thing that sort of trips up teachers. They look at this and they get all sort of frustrated on how to do this because they're used to um, setting it up in another way. 
What I suggest if, if you're looking at this and it's sort of racking your brain a little bit is just to really quickly flip the signs. That's right, flip them. Make this a positive 119 and this a negative 34 and do the subtraction the regular way, the way that you're used to. 9 minus 4 is 5, 11 minus 3 is 85. And then just remember, since you flip the signs to return, flip it again and make your final answer a negative. Negative 85. That's the answer. And, and if we went back to our number line, which I conveniently took away, we had gone back, negative 105, another negative, back another 14 steps to one, negative 119. And then since we, we added those uh, 34 uh, va value points, we're moving actually up 34 spaces to negative 84. Negative, negative 85. And you just use the number line as a way to sort of conceptually think about these values and, and how they interact with one another. Okay team, this is it. C is the answer. I hope you got some something from this video. Stay tuned for some more, okay? Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.